Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Voxel Twig and we're back with another episode of Stone Block 3. Last time, we got our power flowers set up and a lot of EMC automated as well as Neutronium Nuggets. In between episodes, I went ahead and did what I exactly what I said. I upgraded our power flowers to one of the newer uh, offshoot versions. These are the blue energy collectors and if we look... This one, where are you? Here we go, Project E. This one, blue, each one is 40,960 EMC per second. So this is only about halfway through. Let it run for a while. <clears throat> you can see here with all of them, it's getting about a million each tick. And we're just having them make energy collectors. This one's making relays. These two are making blue matter and one of them is full up on energy condensers now i also did collect some quest rewards and you're probably wondering what's this sword well one of the quest rewards gave me a sword and as soon as i picked it up it popped another one out and i can't pick it up but here it is it is the skull fire sword behead skeletons and scorches them black looting 15 sharpness thanos unbreaking 15 and it has an attack damage of 135 um, now, I don't know if we got this due to a specific mod that we did, a certain quest that we completed. I don't know, but uh, this is our sword now. So, there's there's no chance. I, but this one is just permanently here. Don't know why. But today, what we're going to do is we <clears throat> are going to venture out and do some exploring because... Um, we need to get more loot from the dungeons. We need to go to the stone dungeon. We need to go to the nether dungeon. And we also need to get out into the end because that is where we are going to get. The silverfish heart comes from the mother silverfish. And to summon the mother silverfish, we need these silverfish shards which can be found in dungeons in the stone area. Now, I know we were there. We went to that this this dungeon right here together. Um, but in our quest book, it doesn't have us ever actually visiting a stone dungeon. It says it can be found in the outer half of the stone circle, which it could be this, but I could have sworn it would have been this. I mean, these these look more like caves than anything else to me, but, you know, it could be wrong. And then you have a, a spawner dungeon. It's just much smaller, comprised of a single room. And then we need to visit an end city. And then finally, the last thing we do is the boss dungeon, which is beyond the end. But to make that a little bit easier, what we are going to do is we are going to do some crafting. So the first thing we're going to make... So we're going to make a charged porter. And then we're going to make an advanced charged porter. Blink. And then that should immediately get charged up from our energy system, which is beautiful. And then we are also going to need some matter receivers, which we need machine frames for. Blue dye. Let's just get a couple stacks and throw it in the computer. Because I feel like we, that keeps coming up. Let's make a stack of you. And we'll make a stack of you. So, <clears throat> theoretically, if I were to just pop you there. Can I attune to you? Eh. Okay, so now it's, it's, it's set here. So if I were to sneak, right-click... I see I can have what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can have eight things set. So if I were to run down this way and then just right click, it will bring me back here. It's like a smidgen of damage, which is fine. It's not the end of the world. Probably because it's not powered, but the plan is we're going to put these all over. So that little bit of damage that we're going to take is going to be fine. It's not going to be the end of the world. And then what else do I want? We're going to make... We are going to make a destruction gadget. 
get that charged up. And this voids blocks, but what it's going to do is I can shift, right click, and set the dimensions. So on a, obviously, we're, when we go to the end city, we're going to be making tunnels. So we're going to go looking in the middle of a block. We're going to go up one, down one, left one, right one, the depth of 16. And now this will make a three by three tunnel 16 blocks deep. Now let's just turn this down in case we accidentally click on it. Perfect. 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 Okay. So that's good. And then I think the last thing. Ooh. These are out of water. And because they're out of water, we are out of power. That's not great. Not great at all. Gotta make some buckets, get the power back up and running. Uh, we definitely need to invest in more efficient power soon-ish. Probably a reactor, just because this isn't a common occurrence, but it definitely keeps happening. So, there we go. Um, we want to get that taken care of. So let me fill these up, and I'll see you guys in a second. All right, and the last thing we're going to make here is a golden apple. Uh, I think that'll be good for our purposes. And with that, we are going to head off. Our first step is going to be this dungeon, and we're going to put a receiver down, and we'll go in and explore it a little bit, and then we'll head out to the nether dungeon and then out to the end. And we're going to put receivers down at each point. That way we can make it a little bit easier. So I'm going to head down this tunnel, and I will see you guys when we get there. All right, so we made it to the stone dungeon, and the second we walked in, it actually popped the achievement. So not sure if it was a quest that was added later or what, but we've definitely been here together. So we popped one of our golden apples, and now we're just going to go through and loot everything. Uh, one thing to note here, um, our wireless crafting grid, for whatever reason, it says the transmitter is not in range, even though we have that infinity range booster. Um, I ran back to the house, checked the computer. It is in it is there, so I'm not sure why uh, it's saying that it's not, but, you know. It's, it is what it is. Um, it'll be okay. I think we'll make it. But that was disappointing. I checked online. I couldn't see anything. So if you guys have run into a similar issue, uh, let me know down below in the comments. Let me know I'm not crazy and then it's not just me. That would be super cool. A spawner dungeon, huh? Oh, this is the, this is the other one. We were looking for both of these. Look at that, two quests down. So what we're looking for here is we're looking for those silverfish shards that were supposed to be in the stone dungeon. And looks like we got, oh, a bat spawn. And we got our cold silverfish. Take a golden carrot. I don't know what the pink candles do, but... I'll take them. And I did make a couple extra of the um, alchemical pouches. That way we have those for all of our loot. All oh, right. Uh, do I have my, my ring? Inactive. There we go. Can I put that in here and still be active? can perfect all right now we can fly come fly away let's fly with me all right do 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 nautilus shell oh that's what we would have needed to make our little pouch of time the temporal pouch cool what's happening
Oh, they can't get to me because of my ring. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Um... I'm guessing we're just gonna have to take this off. Yeah, we're not gonna have, we're not gonna, I don't think we're gonna be able to use that when we're fighting. That's okay. But we can use it in a pinch, so that's good to know. That is actually really good to know. So, let's grab one of our sweet pouches here. Throw everything in here. Oh, I want that. And then once it starts to get full, we'll go through and get rid of the things we don't need. But for now, we are just going to go ahead and keep on exploring. And then... And then. All right. Do, 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 do. Really, all we're here for is the silverfish shards. Everything else is kind of meh. Oh, can I fly and not have to activate this thing? Oh, that's nice. Let's just put this right here. Yeah, perfect. Because we really don't need any of these mob drops. We just we're just here for the mems. No. Oh, oh, God. All right. So I'm going to go through the rest of here, and I'll catch you guys in a second. So still still in here and exploring, but I wanted to show you guys. I found, I found this cool staircase, and there's actually, it looks like, like parkour puzzles in here, which is awesome. Now, this one obviously leads to a dead end, but in the bottom there was a couple chests. But so far, we're doing, we're doing pretty good so far. We got... We got some good loot so far. Our first bag is almost full. And uh, we've gotten two stacks of these cold silverfish shards, which is awesome. Don't know. Looks like we need cold and warm, and the warm ones are going to be found from the nether dungeon. Uh, now, this is used, like, look, like, this is we summon the. Mother Silverfish with it. We need 16 of each shard to summon it. And Mother Silverfish here gives us her heart. And we know that we need her. Oh, look, we're going to get a bunch. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we need 20 hearts in total. But I think there's probably a way to automate getting those hearts. So I don't think we're going to need to get, you know, hundreds of these things. But uh, I'm just going to go until I feel like we've looted this entire place. And then we are going to head over to the nether dungeon. So I will see you guys in a little bit. All right, so we officially cleared out our first dungeon, and this is all of the loot that we got from it. Pretty solid. We got one, two, three, four. We got five stacks of silver for shards and a ton of this mana quartz. But another good thing we got is we got a lot of weak blood orbs when we get started with blood magic, and we even to snag a totem of undying. So all in, this was solid. This is enough for, I think, 15 or 16 spawns of the mother silverfish, so that's great. So the next step on our journey is we are heading towards the nether dungeon up here. <clears throat> and we are going to make our way through there and see how many uh, of the other silverfish shards we can get before we head off to the end. So I will see you guys there. All right, we have made it to our next stop, the nether dungeon, and we got our matter receiver down and ready to go. So let's head in here and see what kind of treasures await us. Um, excuse me, my ring. Thank you. Perfect. So, 
this is for sure a dead end. Now let's get in here and see what kind of fun we can have. These are going to be so much loot too. And here we are looking for... The warm silverfish shards. Which... I haven't seen any yet. Let's go down this way. Excuse me. Who? Where? Okay. Who? Oh, thank goodness we got a stick. Let's bust this. Stone. I don't know what that does, but we'll take it. What else is this? Gilded Blackstone? Uh, yes, please. That'll look cool on our base. Here we go. Warm Silverfish Shard. Perfect. That's what we're after. I'm just going to collect a bunch of these. And we're going to collect a bunch of... Ah! Ow! Ow! Oh, Wither Roses! Owie! Alright, so let's just cruise through here and see what we can't find. Catch you guys soon. Alright, so we are officially done with the nether dungeon. We check out our loot here. We got a good amount of these warm silverfish shards. Tons of what I thought were regular fireworks. However, they all look to be different. Uh, but we also got another totem of undying couple banners another star um but we also got lots of crying obsidian and gilded blackstone so we can try to use that in our base design a little bit and we got some of this essence for ars nouveau so that'll be exciting once we get into that but for now what we are going to do next is it's a stick down we're going to put this here grab this grab this and our next step is the end dungeon so we are going to come back down here and we're really just going to go straight out this way until we get to until we see an end dungeon on the map so i will see you guys once we get to the end of the line all right and we have finally made it so now we can go up one down one right one left one at a depth of 16. and if we use that it's just going to make us a nice tunnel here and then we'll make sure we just add some torches. And we're just going to keep going down the line here until we eventually get to an end dungeon. Or we can see an end dungeon on the map. And then we'll turn, head over there, and see what it has for us. Because that is the last dungeon that we need. Um, now, I don't know what is going to be in the end dungeon. I know we needed the silverfish shards from the other two to summon the boss. Um, the boss is beyond the end. We're not doing that right now. To, that's probably going to be a, another episode. But I do want us to get to the end dungeon and see what kind of unique loot there might be there for us. So once we have found one, I will fill you guys in. Looks like we don't have anything yet, so I'll see you soon. Alrighty, so we found ourselves an end city dungeon. Uh, we had to come pretty far up this way to get to it, but we made it, and I think that might be that final boss dungeon that we're going to be looking for too, so that's awesome. So we're here. We actually had to go quite a bit, quite a ways. Um, let me turn my ring on. For whatever reason, sometimes it just decides this is going to stop working. Uh, we had to come up 112 Y levels, so we just used our... Uh, destruction gadget to go straight up but with our ring flight is no issue plop down our matter receiver for a quick getaway should we need it so now we can just look around in here and see what this place has to offer this is pretty cool this does look really cool though die sir now, I don't know what we're looking for. I don't really know what could be in here. There's lots of shulkers. Dragon head. There's an elytra. Let's see. Um, let's 
take care of this schmuck so we can look through this barrel in peace. Ritual, oh, it's, you know what? We, it's probably these ritual starters that we need. Huh. If I was a betting man, I'd say that's what we're here for. Let's see what else we can get. Warp scroll, oh, I'll pick that up. Okay. So yeah, it looks like we need these ritual starters. I'm gonna take the source gems, slimy seeds, why not? What's that? Respawn anchor. Source berries and another scroll. Ooh, dragon scale. Okay, so let's see how many of these do we need. So it's just one ritual starter. So we can already summon it six times, which is great. Who's trying to hit me? This guy? Sir, you picked the wrong person. Dragon's Breath. Well, we're not going to not take Dragon's Breath. We're not crazy people. Slimy Seeds, Source Berries. Yeah, it's pretty... pretty ooh, what's... Uh, more Dragon's Breath. Soul Stealer. Uh, take some Source Berries. So far, this is pretty peaceful up here. Don't really need to go downstairs at all. But I'm sure once we run out of these barrels, we're going to have to go explore a little bit more. Because these are all pistons. Lectern. Can I go? I mean. Take that. Is there an inside to the boat, to the ship, I wonder? Hello. Let's throw a torch down so we can see. Seeds, dragon's breath, source gems, another scroll, another one of these, some dragon scales. What's this? Black concrete, huh? Is there anything else down here? Just taking a peek. We're trying to see where... If I was a barrel, where else could I be? Oh, he's pissed. So now we're looking for barrels, it looks like. All right. All right. So after exploring around the area, I, f I found no more barrels. So... It looks like all we got was what was on the ship, but that's okay. We got 17 ritual starters, so we can summon the Mother Silverfish about 17 times. We got an Elytra, which is great. Uh, no Shulker boxes. We got some of these Warp Scrolls, some Dragon's Breath and Scales, and a few Source Gems. So now I'm going to go down to the bottom of the hole and head out west to get over to this thing, which looks like it's at Y level negative 37. So I will see you guys there. All right, we have made it, and then looking at the map, it looks like this is probably the boss arena, so let's go left, right, right, and that should be where we need to be. Yep, this is the boss dungeon. Let's... Ow. This way. Is there any, like, cool loot in here? Just normal stuff. It looks like it's just the same old, same old. Nothing crazy. There's also not, I mean, there's a couple of spawners, but there's not really a ton of enemies in here, which is nice. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah, this is definitely a boss battle room. Look at this. We got composters, barrels with insulating glass and steel cables, mana pylons, logic chips, phantom spawn, rune of sacrifice. Wow, this place has got some some stuff. Okay. All right. So this is where that final boss or the silver mother silverfish's boss fight is going to take place. 
don't think we're quite equipped for it as of yet, but what we will do is we will throw you down there, right click on that. And now we can zip over here. Technically, like, uh, do, 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 do. Uh, ritual starter. See, it's really, we're just missing 16 eggs. You know what? We could probably take care of it today. Let's go. Yeah. Because that spawns the silverfish. Silverfish drops silverfish heart. Silverfish heart is used for my transmutation. I'm not going to kill four of them, but I think if we can get one, that'd be cool. Let's head home. Worked like a charm. Now we can throw this away. Put the, and then I think we need uh, there's a ring I want to get. Uh, let's see which one is it. It is nope. Archangel's Smite. Might one of these one, two, three, four. Take this. Okay. Um, do we have a star? This one's got a little... Ooh. Okay, so that's how that works. So let's... <laughs> All right, let's charge this up. Can't charge that in there. Or can I? Can I just charge this right here? No, it's definitely not charged. Okay. It says two stored EMC. All right. Hmm. Actually, it looks like it's probably gonna take a while to charge it. So, I think. Oh, what in the world was that? It's like we just got ourselves a new subscriber. So it looks like actually it looks like next time we will kill the boss and then try to maybe automate it we'll see how that works but that's where we're gonna wrap it up for today you guys if you like this episode please hit that like button down below and leave me a comment and if it's your first time here don't forget to subscribe and as always i am voxel twig and i will catch you all next time